So Uriah, just looking at you today and looking at Henan, do you feel like you're going to have a little bit of a size advantage in there? He might be a slightly taller, but you seem like a bigger guy. Uh, I feel like we're probably about the same size. He's got more of a, a larger frame, and I'm a little bit stockier. Uh, I would say that uh, he is probably cutting pretty hard. I think he cuts hard for this weight. You know, he, he you know, we carry it different ways, but we're about the same size. Yeah, you just seem a little bit more like, like you said, stockier. I guess it's a little tougher built. Like, do you think I'm that's going better looking? <laughs> no. Do you think that's going to be an advantage for you though, in terms of your wrestling? You think that just your build is going to help you in there? Uh, I think a lot of things are going to help me in there. And, you know, what this really comes down to is is a strong mind, and we both have that. You know, I, I think there's some guys that look really strong in there, and some guys that look re really weak, and you never know who's going to win. I, I feel like I'm going to win, and it's because of a lot of other aspects. So what, what about the Bulls fight? That was a nice win for you. Coming off of that fight, what's your momentum, and, you know, what did you do in your training camp to prepare for Hennon? I've been doing a lot. It's been eight months, and I had a lot of time to just continue to improve. I mean, that's that's what you do in this sport. You look for ways to add on to your game. And, you know, I had some great training partners out in Vegas. I got to go to Cobra Kai and roll around with a bunch of fresh guys. And I and I went to uh, Sergio Pena's place out there as well and um, got some great sparring in. I went to One Kick Knicks and with Ann Jaquani, plus all the guys on the show. So I just had a, a, a bunch of new looks and training partners for this thing and in addition to some new trainers as well. Well because people thought working on tough it might take you out of your game and make things more difficult for you to get in your groove but apparently that's not the case. No I'm not I'm not a type of guy that makes excuses if I'm within a you know a, sh a walk to a gym or uh, in the vicinity I'm gonna be working out and I had a lot of great partners especially those young guys that are 55 pounders some of them are natural 45 pounders to roll around with so it was good so not to dig up an old conflict but there was a little bit of a interesting thing that happened when Hennon got announced as your opponent and how did you feel about that whole thing that went down and the loss of Dominic as your opponent uh, I was really looking forward to fighting Dominic and I'm still looking forward to fighting him at some point but you know Barrow is someone who's very tough I feel like because he hasn't really been challenged completely we don't know where he's at. Maybe he's the world champion. Maybe I'm the world champion. Maybe Dominic is. We're going to find out, you know. So you don't think Scotty Jorgensen or any of these guys have challenged him enough? Uh, he definitely was challenged. He was pushed. You know, Scotty got him fatigued a little bit and did some good things, but he lost. And so, uh, you know, there's, you know, you can't really say anything about Burrell, whether he's, you know, even if he hasn't fought guys that are, are my, my caliber or, uh, you know, the amount of guys, you know, he's he's taking care of all the business they needed to, and we're going to find out who's better out of he and I. So 29 wins without a loss, isn't that impressive to you then? Oh, yeah, it's impressive. Okay. It's impressive. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if that's the exact stat. I've heard a bunch of different stuff. I heard it's an 18-fight win streak. 18-fight win. I think it's 29 without a loss. Yeah, he had a, yeah. he had a, a no contest yeah. and... And a couple other things, but nonetheless, I don't give a crap. <laughs> Period. Any other questions? Yeah, can you make it, um, you're here in Calgary, your fans came out to support you. How exciting is it to be a part of uh, making the fans so excited? It's cool. I, I guess this is the first fight in Calgary for the UFC, and that's really cool. You know, it's been uh, a crazy road here, ups and downs throughout this whole training camp and with the different events and everything. And, you know, there's one thing that's true. Canadians love their MMA, and I'm glad to be here to put on a show for them. With, uh, with such a long layoff, uh, you know, is, is it, I hate the term ring rest, but, you know, do you, do you buy into um, the theory of, of, of ring rest? Uh, I'd be easy to get some ring rest if I wasn't training every day, but uh, my training partners knocked that ring rest off on a regular basis, so... I don't know how long it's been. I think eight months. I've had longer layoffs than that. It's never been an issue. Um, it's not like I, I'm like raging bull. I don't go out there and put on 50 pounds. I mean, I do the same thing all the time. So there won't be any ring rust for me. In your mind, what what does this fight come down to? This fight comes down to not making any mistakes. You know, both of us are very good, and it's going to come down to willpower and and uh, making sure that I'm able to implement my game plan and impose my will and not let him do that to me. I know you've been asked this before, but how disappointing was it when you first found out at the uh, on the show that Dominic wasn't going to be able to fight you and then and now preparing for Hennon? What's that mind shift been like for you? 
Uh, I was pretty upset. You know, it was a big build-up for that fight, and there's a lot at stake. But at this point, it doesn't really matter. Burrell is a dangerous opponent. He's someone that I'm forced to focus on. You don't just, uh, you know, you agree to fight someone like Burrell and then all of a sudden not focus on him, you know. <laughs> you can get your head taken off. You know, this is a, a fight that I've known about for about eight weeks now, and uh, I'm ready to go. Burrell tougher or, or, or in any way uh, than uh, Cruz? Different fighters. I mean, Cruz is, is mentally strong. Burrell is mentally strong. I'm mentally strong. We all have different tools. I think I have the most finishes out of all of us, for the record. But, um, you know, and I've been fighting most of my fights at 145 pounds. But um, the guys are all tough. He's more dangerous than Dominic for sure. But anybody that has one finish in Sufa is more dangerous than Dominic by the stats. Ouch. It's true. How's <laughs> it? Well, all right, let's go there. Is, is there any motivation? I mean, obviously you want to focus on, on, on Burrow and that kind of thing, but the motivation to get back in there with Dominic, obviously it's pretty pretty huge. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to fight Dominic, you know, as soon as, as, soon as he's able. And... Uh, I just got to get this win first. You know, this is an important win for me. It gives me a lot of opportunities, including being a, a champion and, and getting a, a, another shot to, to fight Cruz and whoever else. Shifting gears just a little bit, Joseph Benavides on your team. He's got a big fight coming up, for, fighting for the very first featherweight title. How's he looking these days? Because I, I know he's ready. I know he wants us so bad. Man, Joseph's incredible. I said a long time ago that he's going to be a, a staple in this sport. I've talked about him being one of the guys that goes down in history and you know it's it's his time he's been looking incredible he's he's been improving in all aspects and he's a little beefcake too man right now i think he weighs more than i do right right now only because i'm a couple days away from weigh-ins but uh the guys that tear and including all the rest of our guys chad mendez just had a first round knockout tj dillashaw just had a first round submission we've got guys like Lance Palmer, who is on the on the rise, and um, a ton of young guys that are that are making names for themselves. So we're excited. Danny Castillo's on a big win streak. We got a lot of guys. Very nice. Thanks.